In this video, we are going to learn about how to design a logo using Leonardo AI. So here, just go to the Leonardo AI homepage and search for logo. Now you can see, we have millions of logos here. Those are the logos that are created by Leonardo users like you and me. So try to find a logo that matches your imagination. That means, find a logo that is similar to what you want to create. We are going to create a new logo using these previously created logo prompts. I am going to choose this one. Okay, now click on the Remix option. Now you can see, we have that prompt here. If you need to change anything, like logo colors or anything else, you can edit this prompt. You can describe your company. For example, if you're designing a logo for a gym, you can mention gym-related keywords like gym flow or force. For now, I am selecting the number of images as two. This means Leonardo will create two different logos at the same time for me. I am setting the image size as 1024 by 1024 to get a high quality output. To generate these two designs, I have to spend 7 tokens. I am going to generate it by clicking here. Here, we have our designs. You can download them by clicking here. Now I am going to give you some bonus tips. We are going to vectorize our design. For that, go to vectorizer.ai. It's a free website. Upload your image to that website. Okay, now we have our vectorized image on the right side. You can see the differences between the previous image and the vectorized image. The lines are really sharp and smooth. We are going to download it. I am going to save it as a PNG. Now we have our output here. If you need to change the colors of your logo, you can follow this trick. Go to photo.com and upload your logo. Then you can change its colors. I am uploading my image this way.
Now you need to go to the color option and modify the colors as needed, like this. You can download it after signing into their website using your email. If you receive any output from Leonardo AI with unwanted letters, words, or icons, you can see that in these gym-related logos, we have some unwanted letters. We can remove those within a few seconds. I clicked on this design. and we need to go to the Edit and Canvas option. Now drag this box and place it where you are going to edit. Click on the Eraser option and roughly erase the area you want to remove. Then write the prompt as complete the logo. For your negative prompt, write no words or letters. This tells AI not to include any words or letters in your logo. That's how we use negative prompts. Now, I am setting the number of images as 2 and clicking the Generate option. Here, we have two designs as the results, and I am choosing the second one. Now we have our finalized design. Here, I had set the image size as 512 by 512. But if you want a high quality output, you can choose 1024 by 1024. However, for that, you will need to use a higher number of tokens. Okay, now I am going to download it by clicking here. As I mentioned earlier, you can also vectorize it through vectorize.ai, and you can recolor it through folder.com. If you haven't subscribed to us yet, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another video with new AI or technology related techniques. Goodbye.